what's going on. Got an interesting trip today. This is my niece, Asia. Hi. Asia has never backpacked before. And she's already 500% more prepared <laughs> than Brian. I know, you, Brian, you don't watch these, but if you do, you're gonna be, you're gonna be embarrassed. Look at this. <laughs> so we're at Pinchot State Forest. We're gonna do a, uh, a variation of the Pinchot Loop, of the South Loop, and with a lot of bailouts and stuff like that. And we're gonna ha get Asia here introduced to backpacking. Let's see if she likes it. This is your idea. Yep, sure is. Sure is. All right, we'll see you on the trail. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're about two and a half miles in. We just stopped at Choke Creek Falls. So what do you think so far? I love it. I yeah. am not dead yet. Not yet. Not yet. Look at this pack. That thing is packed full. Heavy. Very heavy. Full. So we're planning on like eight miles today. But like I said, the nice thing about this trail is I can, I know enough little side trails we can bail out if we need to. There's quite a few campsites coming up. So we got lots of options. But beautiful day, it cleared up. It was real cloudy when we got here. It's gonna be in like the 40s tonight. It's gonna be almost winter camp. It's gonna be nice. Wow, there's gonna be snow on the ground. Oh, that's nothing creepy about that. Really? Just a cooler laying in the woods. What's next? Garbage. Oh, grill. Oh. Hmm. Well, at least it's off to the side. Yeah. But this is a nice little site right here. Um, unfortunately, the falls get really popular, so. And there's not a lot of options here for hammocks so over there. There's just a couple. So we're going to continue on. Stars. We'll see how long she lasts. <laughs> it's not going to run out of water, so that's cool. Look at Asia using her water filter for the first time. <laughs> she did good. So this is, she borrowed a backpack. She got her own stove. She got her own filter. She's using my my knock bag because the the Sawyers are Sawyers and it's, it's a small one. They're hard to fill. Um, what else did you get? You have a stove. Um, I have a headlamp. Headlamp. Have, what are these called? A oh, trekking poles. Trekking poles. Um, she got lots of food. Lots of food, toilet paper. She brought an entire roll of toilet paper. Is it supposed to be a, not an entire roll of toilet paper? And if you use a lot of toilet paper, <laughs> you need a lot of toilet paper. I don't use that much toilet paper. You'll you'll learn. It's things like that. Bug spray. Bug spray. Uh, yeah, things like that that you'll learn as you as you actually do this. And you realize, oh, I brought an entire roll of toilet paper. I didn't need that. <laughs> or you'll find other options. Um, yeah, so far so good. We're down to Choke Creek already. We're probably about three and a half miles or so from camp. Uh, three and a half to four from here. I wasn't sure where, where exactly we'd stop. But nice spot. Good to get the packs off. I brought a lot of extra stuff just to show Asia what you actually can backpack with because there's some things you never even notice or never know that you could could use like a chair I brought a chair I did not bring a chair at this campsite you don't need it nope some of you do got my rock oh boy it's still early it's like uh I got a watch now and I keep looking at my phone it is, oh, my watch is on a different screen. It is <laughs> one thirty, so we're we're making really good time. Wow, I thought it was going to be at least three o'clock by right now. No. All right, so we're gonna finish up. We just had our lunch. We both had some chicken creations, chicken creation wraps, and I had some Doritos. Mm. So we'll get loaded up. And I think from what I saw online that the, the beaver chew section out here is drier than usual, which will be nice. Um, 
we should get through that pretty quickly and then up the hill into camp. I'll pick it up and everything if you want. <laughs> so we just came across this little garter snake. And it's me and Asia. And Asia's, Asia's a woman. She didn't scream, Adam. She didn't scream. I want to hold him. <laughs> We're going to get a story from Asia about the goat lady in, I guess it would be considered music PA. All right. So there's this road or this path in the woods in uh, back behind Montage and it goes What's up. Montage? Montage. People all over the world watching oh, this Asia. I'm sorry. Montage the Mountain. Um, it's music Pennsylvania. So there's a uh, back behind where the slopes are in Montage, Pennsylvania. It'd be, what is that called now? Ski Montage? Ski? S snow Mountain. That never has any snow. I know. So behind Snow Mountain, there's trails that people take. They're off-road vehicles, typically Jeeps, trucks, things like that. So we used to go up this one called the Goat Lady, which was a big rock mountain. I, I think it was a, I think it was a, what is it called, rock field? Boulder field. Boulder field. It's like a boulder field. So we'd climb up the boulder field and there was an old cabin up there and they said that this la old lady used to live there called the goat lady because she would have goats and she was alone and some other thing. But either way, there's this creepy cabin up there that somebody redid. So a couple friends went up there and they went into the cabin and they were taking pictures and the one woman took a picture in the mirror and when she looked at the picture, it was this old woman in the, in the picture instead of her face in the mirror. So she went and she showed her friend and her friend's like, oh my God, that's the goat lady. Before telling her where in the woods they were when they took this picture. And she's like, let me show my brother that. He's gonna know she lived right up the road from us. She's the lady with the goats, the goat lady. And so he, she showed his bro her brother and he said the same thing. As soon as he saw the picture, he's like, oh my God, that's the goat lady. So moral of the story is the goat lady still lives on the goat lady. That's all I got. <laughs> It's a creepy cool story. <laughs> like, oh God, I got that on tape. <laughs> you heard it here first. The goat lady of montage. <laughs> Snow mountain. Snowless mountain. The snowless mountain. <laughs> All right, well, that was a good story. Right, that was, like it. See, we should have had a campfire for that. Oh my God, I love a good campfire story. <laughs> Although, we don't need a campfire to tell stories. This is true, we've been telling stories the whole time. Yeah. Telling stories the whole time. Out of out of all my nieces and nephews, Asia's got to be at, at least in the top thirty. They're my favorite. You don't even have that many. Uh, all right, so th number thirty. <laughs> top three. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we're doing our big climb for the day, which is uh, <laughs> we're gonna climb up like fifty feet over a mile, so it's really nothing. Um, then we get to the elephant ear. Around that and down to camp. We're doing pretty good. Making good time. How you holding up, Asia? Doing good. Doing good. So we're having fun, having a good time. It's cloudier and a little cooler than we originally thought, which is nice. Thank Should you. be a good night. We saw one person out backpacking, a group early this morning that had their kids out. They might've been camping last night and heading out, but it's been fairly quiet, which is, Understandable since it is a Wednesday in uh, August. So a lot of people are working or watching TV. Check this spot out. Lots and lots of ferns. You what? <laughs> so how far do you think we went? Eight miles. Nine miles. 9.95. Almost 10. Oh my god. You said eight to ten miles. <laughs> I did. You did it. Oh. <laughs> how do you feel? Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm in so much pain. <laughs> <laughs> oh. We made it to camp. This should look familiar. 
I stayed here a couple times. This is a site that Rocco and I stayed at and Dragon and I stayed at. Um, it's a lot warmer than both of those times. So I get to teach Asia how to set up a hammock and I'll get some stuff set up. And that was a, a good 10 mile day right there. Oh my God. And we don't, we don't mess around when we break in people. Do backpacking 10 miles. Let's go. Oh. It's like 10 miles back to the car. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna relax for a minute, have some water and some snacks probably, and then get camp set up. All right, it is dinner time. I made some chili the other day, so I dehydrated some. I got some chili flavored Fritos in there. Mmm, so good. And Asia's got some rice. Nora's rice with some chicken sensations, chicken in there. Lemon chicken. Mm, ooh, lemon chicken. It's real lemony, isn't it? It is very, very lemony. lemony. <laughs> if you just eat that right out of the pack, it's like, oh, God. Yes. Yeah, you got to mix that with something. Definitely. But Asia kind of saved the day. And she found canister fuel really cheap at the local hardware store. So she picked up a couple because I was, I was just about out. And... uh they work all right. <laughs> it's a little hard to light those things. Did not want to light. But we got matching pots. She's on the same pot. <laughs> so now that you, you had a chance to sit down, and you've, you've sat in your hammock, and I'm going to put you on a spot where you're eating. I'm burning myself. Is it hot? Oh, very hot. So what would you think of today? I loved it. I'm tired, but it was worth it. And miles. I can't wait to sleep in that hammock. Yeah, so she's, I'm lending her my red tail so she can try out a hammock. She's never slept in a hammock before. It'll be really good for my back. They are. Yeah. Like, my back used to always bother me when I was camping. Not anymore. I'm excited. So, um, it's going to be like this all night. Super clear. So, no tarps. I expect porcupines. <laughs> Probably some coyotes. I heard them the other night when I was out here. Mm. So it'll be fun. Yeah. And then and then 20 miles back to the car tomorrow will be fine. <laughs> Absolutely not. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Going to have our dinner. Talk to you. All right. So it's uh, 9 o'clock in, in our hammocks. And it is time for bed. So, see you in the morning. Let's see what our, uh, see what our plan of attack is tomorrow. See how Asia's feeling. And uh, if we just head back or if we finish off the trail like I was planning this to do. So. You recording? Yeah, I'm recording. Good morning. It is 7 a.m. We've been up for a little bit. It <clears throat> got cold last night. The... Asia's got service on her phone and it said that it got down to 40, like 7 in Goldsboro. And it's usually like 3 or so, 3 to 5 degrees cooler out here. So it was down in the, like the low to mid 40s. It wasn't supposed to get that cold. It's the middle of August. It shouldn't get that cold. But we had a little fire going um, just to warm up a little bit. But out here in the swamp, the sun is starting to warm things up out there. And uh, check this out. We got a little view of it here. I'm gonna walk over to this other spot and take a look. But this is where we got our food bags hung. Check that out. So Asia, how did you do? I know how you did. And sleep well. She did not sleep well. It's a lot of noises out here. <laughs> and I'm cold. <laughs> I didn't bring enough layers. <laughs> it, uh, neither did I. Neither one of us are expecting it to get that cold. So I've got like just a t-shirt, a light t-shirt and my hoodie and my summer quilts with me. And she's got my old summer quilts. And they just, I mean, they're survivable at this temperature, but not comfortable. Mm -mm. So right, this isn't even the cool spot. Here we go walk over to this other spot, take a look at what we got.
we've got camp all cleaned up. Fire is out. We didn't have a big fire, no fire. <coughs> Asia's losing stuff and getting lost. <laughs> so we're gonna finish up today and um, yeah, it's warming up finally. It, it had to be in the low 40s when we got up. It was really cold, but it's not bad now. Don't tell Asia that, she's still wearing her hoodie. <laughs> the last bunch of times I've been out here, there's been a ton of water in this little creek and no way to cross it. And now they put bridges in and there's no water. That makes sense. Yeah. Look everybody, my favorite thing, road hike. <laughs> so it's been cold all morning and Asia's been like, it's too cold, it's too cold. We get out in the sun, it's too hot, it's too hot. You ever happy? There's no shade, I yeah. like shade. Hey, well, now you're in shade, you happy now? Kind of. All right, now it's sunny. <laughs> now I'm dying again. <laughs> <laughs> so we got a little bit of a road hike here. We're gonna head down to Snowmobile Trail. So the North Loop is off to our left, make sure there's nobody coming up there. Uh, North Loop is off to our left. We're not going to do that. We're going to hop on a snowmobile trail, which will cut us across to the the Tannery Road, and then we'll get back on the Pinchot at the McClintock's Gate Trail. So, and that'll take us up and around back to the car in only 15 miles. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> All right. So this is better. We decided not to take the snowmobile trail because it's like 50 feet before. The pinch road comes right back into <laughs> the road. So all we would do was walk on the road further to get back to where we are right now. So we just hopped on this trail and uh, now we start heading back towards the car, officially. We've been heading towards the car all morning. Sun's out, beautiful day. Sunshine in the pines, you gotta love it. How you holding up? My back hurts. It's that road hike. Huh? It's a road hike. Stupid road. Stupid road. I don't I don't ever remember seeing that on the side of the trail before. I gotta poke my eye out and try to go under too far. <laughs> There's something else over there, like a little marker. Oh, that's weird. This little spot is gorgeous. Ow. It's gorgeous, all these ferns. Look how nice it is. Do you approve? I do. It's Asia approved. Look at how pretty it looks when it's on the... Sorry, ferns. It's making everything grow, or yeah. glow. All right. So we are about to start our final climb for the trip up the stone tower. It's all downhill from there. And look at this kids. Look how far back she is. 19 years younger. Kids. <laughs> no, she's doing really good for her first trip. Let's hope it's not her last trip. All right? I so said, you're doing really good for your first trip. Let's hope it's not your last trip. I'm tired. You realize I've got 19 years on you. Well, you know what? <laughs> you also have 19 years of doing more activity than me as well. Eva, I'm <laughs> old. I should be sitting at home in my rocking chair. Oh, not, not kicking your ass on a trail. I told you I'm a 58 year old woman. <laughs> 
the 28 year old's body. Oh, oh. oh it's fun. So up at the top of this, this is where we start our gradual climb and then steep ascent up to the top, which isn't really all the bad. Then we're gonna stop for a break. Long break. Long break. Oh, she's groaning and creaking. Stop it. They're sold out too. Are they? Yep. So we made the big climb. We stopped, we had a break. Nasia survived. Okay. <laughs> she had to sit for a minute. We're 20. Bugs. <laughs> Spiders. Ugh. Got them all. So we are heading over to the little pile of rocks they call Stone Tower. And then from here on out, it is downhill. We get on a forest road and then we just follow that all the way back down to the car. So, ugh, geez, ankles. It's hard to walk on rocks when they're covered by ferns. Did you just see belching on camera? Huh? Did you just get me belching on camera? I don't know, did I? <laughs> I don't know, it huh? just came out. I don't know if we heard it. <laughs> Guess we'll find out. All right. We're gonna continue on. Should be back to the car. Should only take about a half hour to get down there. And then uh, do the closing down there. <laughs> oh my God. So, we're back to the cars. There they are. About 200 feet to go. I told Asia we had a mile and a half to go. I almost cried. <laughs> <laughs> but I knew it would, she'd be prepped. As soon as she saw the cars, she knew we were done. So what'd you think? That was awesome. Yeah, the whole thing? Most of it. I'm pain. I'm in pain. I am one big pain. <laughs> it happens when you're back. Right? But yeah, so we did almost 15 miles total, which is about three miles further than I thought we were going to go. Sweet! So we did good. So we didn't use any of the bailouts I was expecting to use. We did the whole thing. We did the full, like, the full thing I, I was aimed for. I'm so proud of me. I'm proud too. I was fully expecting <laughs> that we'd just take a side trail at some point, but she fought through it. Did, Did it. good. I'm Did so good. excited. 15 miles. Yeah. I'm telling everybody. Nice. And you got proof. I got proof. <laughs> so I hope you guys liked it. If you did, hit that thumbs up and uh, get these packs off and get some food and a shower. See you in the next